on the 10 fastest animals in the world. Part two. Check out part one if you haven't watched it yet. almost never land. Scientists say that they can fly continuously and don't need to land for sleep. <laughs> They'll feed in the air. They get stuff to build their nests in the air. There's really nothing that they can't do in the air. What's weird is they can't really land on the ground. You know why? Because their legs are too short and their wings are too long. So they can't take off from a flat surface. Although they almost never land, when they do, they land on branches and houses. Closing in on the finish line and just barely missing the podium is the gray-headed albatross. They nest on isolated islands in the Southern Ocean, but that's okay because they can travel 8,000 miles to search for food. They spend most of their life at sea, but they can travel around the world in one month. We've made it to the podium. The bronze medal goes to the Ibo Heidi whatever. Horsefly. That's number three. Why didn't we just ride a horsefly? They can fly 90 miles an hour, land on your shoulder, bite you, add a welt, and as far as I'm concerned, they can fly 90 miles the heck out of here because I hate those things. Second place, the silver medal goes to the Brazilian free tail bat. In Austin, Texas, millions of bats arrive every spring. They live underneath a bridge, and when they fly out, there's so many of them that they blacken the sky. Why are they the second fastest animal in the world? Because they can go a hundred miles per hour. <sighs> Coming in at number one, the gold medal goes to the Peregrine Falcon. This wasn't even a race for them because they can fly 200 miles per hour. They use their speed to catch medium sized birds and in the city, they use their speed to catch pigeons. People have actually trained falcons for hunting for over a thousand years. So that's it. I thought my dog Darla was fast, but she doesn't even compare to these animals. Like, subscribe, and check out some more videos.